Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are doing great. I send you all much love and light and just want to say happy October. I'm so excited to be here with you guys and do a love reading. Let's see what's coming in for the month ahead, all right? So you guys can watch this um, if you have Capricorn, Moon, or Rising as well because I'm noticing that a lot of you like to cross watch for your Moon and Rising signs. So thank you for being here with me. My name is Lynn and this is Passionate Heart Tarot. If you are new to this channel, welcome and thank you you guys so much Capricorn before I begin your reading just want to take a moment to invite the light light of the Holy Spirit Capricorn, let's see what is coming in for your love life in October. Let's see what spirit shows us. So uh, Aries and Leo energy is coming through. You guys might have that moon or rising. Maybe there are some cross watchers here as well as Libra's energy. So there's like all of this major arcana coming in, which is spirit letting us know that you're on the verge of making a huge change. I bet you guys are starting to see the synchronicities around you, you know, seeing the numbers repeating, feeling like you have deja vu, having very vivid dreams. It's all to let you know that you are ascending to a higher vibration, higher state of consciousness. You're working your way out of a lot of the anxiety anxieties that you feel, maybe even about yourself, but especially about love. I see where there's this energy coming your way that makes you feel free fr from like caged to freedom, from being closed off to being open. And it's like something is coming your way, a, a love connection that you deserve, something that you deserve. For some of you, this is the energy of something new, fresh coming into your life. For others of you, it's um, the connection that you could already be in, getting a new start, getting, getting a revival. You see this justice energy coming through? It's like something that you fought for something that you fought if you fought to um hold on to the relationship that you have and hoping that it will improve hoping that um you can mend ties with someone get things on the right track i see that i see that that was the right thing for you to do those of you that made that choice because it's like you're gonna be rewarded for the struggles and the forgiving energy that some of you have been in and for others of you, it's just like finally you have something coming your way that it's just just. It's what you deserve. It's what's right. And I see where there is this. Even I wonder, I wonder if this person is like way more free spirited than you. The one that's coming your way. That's for those of you that have something new. Because the fool card is like. It's a very free spirited energy. It's someone who just kind of goes with the flow, can be impulsive and just has a lot of faith, a lot of faith in the universe, a lot of faith in love, a lot of faith in themselves, faith in you. So I wonder if this is a person who's opposite of you that's gonna like bring that out within you. Someone that can help you see all the good that you have within. Because like this strength that I see, it's inner strength. It comes from you. But I think that this is a person that's coming your way who is gonna do nothing but build you up. So you have a, a lot of positive messages here from Spirit. I know some of you watching this are still in the energy of anxious, not really knowing what lies ahead. And that could be because of what you're going through now and in a certain connection that you're in. And for others of you, it could just be because you felt like you've been alone for so long. 
For some of you, you could it's been years since you've been with anyone. And it, it makes you feel like you don't really don't really believe if something's really gonna come in for you. It's like a loss of faith that some of you have. And you have someone that's coming your way that's gonna help turn all of that energy around. So I understand if it is um, hard for you to picture it, hard for you to see it, because you might still be in this energy and that person even has a blindfold on. But it is really up to you just to try to break free from that, try to shake yourself out of that pessimistic mindset. Try to break this belief that you have that there's like no good people left, no good, you know, suitors left. Try it for your own well-being, for your own well-being. That's what I can that's what I can see. Just try to switch your mind around to believe that you can have something that you truly deserve. Because that is what's coming your way. And the sooner you start to believe it, um, the sooner that you can draw it to you. The sooner um, you'll see what's right in front of you. And that is your own reflection in the mirror as well for just how far you've come. I see you guys getting into a different mindset in the month ahead. And I'm very happy to see how empowered you are truly believing in yourself. I know where you. some of you may not be there yet, and that's okay, but just know that you are going to get there. There's a lot of empowered energy. There's a lot of faith. There's a lot of happiness here with all of this yellow coming through. It's like the sunshine, warmth, feeling accepted, feeling welcomed. Let's look into some of this major arcana. Let's see. Um, I wonder if some of you... Uh, maybe you were in a marriage and that didn't work out because I see that energy here. Maybe some of you have lost faith in love because someone that you counted on, you felt like they really disappointed you, someone that you really put up on a pedestal. And, and maybe you just received a lot of injustice in that connection. Some of you are still with that person, still hang, hanging on to it ultimately because you feel like it's the right thing to do you have to know that what you have coming in is a turnaround in that connection as well a huge turnaround is is here a huge turnaround for the better very positive energy let's let's look into that That's what I'm saying. I think some of you uh, might even be in this place. Uh, yeah, you see, it's like coming out of coming out of that darkness, the darkness that you kind of put yourself in with your own thoughts and your own emotions, not wanting to feel that way, not wanting to be in that place, wanting to break free. Um, in fact, for some of you, if you're on the verge of a divorce, if you're on the verge of separating from a long term relationship, um, just know that things are going to go in your favor legally. So that's important for someone to know, because I do see this energy here of someone who wants to. So for, it's like two different scenarios. Some of, for everyone though, a new start is here. Inner strength is here. Peace and calmness is here. It's just a matter of what you want, because what you have coming in is, is what you deserve. And what you deserve is what you picture for yourself. So for some of you, I see where you feel like the right thing for you to do right now is maybe you're on the fence about it with all of this anxiety and you're wondering, should I break free from this? You should. And I actually do see it happening. I can see where um, for some of you, it's long term relationships or, or a marriage coming to an end. But don't let that scare you. That's a message for someone who already knows that it's on the verge of happening and they're wondering if they should take that final step. I see that you're going to. And I also see that it is something that helps you break free from these chains. It makes you it makes you feel free like you haven't felt in so long. And it, it just brings this energy of balance into your life. 
And for others of you, maybe you've already broken away from a connection, maybe something that was really serious in your life ended, and you're just in this state now of wondering, what's ahead of me? I don't really know which direction to go in. I see relief coming in for you as well. I see you starting to build your, yourself back up again. See, the two of wands is about finding your path, finding direction. And for and for some of you, and for some of you, this is about new love coming in. Someone with a very free spirited, light hearted energy, very romantic. I think you'll find um, that their gestures, because they might even do something like bring you a single rose. So it's like they'll do significant gestures, something that they really thought about. So you have a lot of romantic energy coming in. Some of you want to claim it, and then others of you are still in this place of working on yourself, finding your inner strength again. So it's like Capricorns are in different places right now. If you want love to come in, it's so positive because I can see it. And I can see where it's something that brings you confidence. Overall, there's just like this energy of balance coming in for you guys mentally, emotionally, and like just things going your way, things being fair, getting what you deserve, taking a chance. I just see you guys taking a chance, whether it's to walk away from something you feel you need to walk away from, whether it's to walk into a new connection, taking a chance with your heart, and for others of you, it could be the connection that you're already in, it reaching another phase of happiness, like a new chapter. But overall, the energy ahead for you guys is justice. So just know that everything this month, is it will work in your favor. Just have this idea in your head that you're really lucky. Attract that attention to you because I, I see it. I see things going your way. It could even be the smallest of things, you know, convenient things like you go to the store and you get the parking spot that's right in front. You get the last item on the shelf of something, you know, it's like just just positivity is all around you. And it could even be in the smallest of things like if, if you can see the signs and you know where to look, you'll see it. You'll see how blessed you are. You'll see how guided you are. So you guys have so much goodness coming to you. It really is what you deserve. All right, let's look into this full card. That's just, it's beautiful. I can see some of you, um, all of you actually, getting in this mindset of, of becoming more empowered. Don't worry if you're not there yet. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. And don't. That's what I want you to know. Because you have that energy coming to you as well. Where you're not going to be looking back at the past. You're going to be looking forward. And with this person that's coming your way, that's for those of you that want it. Or it could even be improvements that you see in the person that you're with now. Their behavior and what they show you, it's its so beautiful. It's like giving you so much attention, so much affection that it makes you feel safe enough to open up. And you're too busy looking forward at what's next. You're not going to be looking back. You're not going to be worrying about what hurt you, who hurt you, what's going on with that other person. You really have a lot to look forward to. Someone who, if you if you open up to them, this is a person that is romantic, they're charming, they're spontaneous. They're spontaneous. And I can see where it's someone who likes to give attention. They like to give love. That's just like their love language. It's the kind of person that always likes to make their person feel special, paid attention to. So if, if that's what some of you have wanted, 
it's beautiful to see that that is coming your way i just want you to know all the beauty that i can see coming in for you capricorn and i really want you to be in this mindset of believing that you can have it just go around knowing inside that everything is gonna go in your favor what you want is coming to you and you know why it's because it's what you deserve i see what some of you have gone through um, in love, emotionally, a lot of anxiety, feeling like you've been in, in a dark place before, not really knowing what's ahead of you. You have so much positivity that's here. All right, Capricorn. So that is what I can see for you guys coming in for October. I love you all so much. Thank you for being here with me like always. I send you guys much love and light. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, you guys. Thanks again for everything, and I will talk to you all in a few days.